Hello everybody and welcome to my series Exploring the Exiled Lands. Um, this, this game, Conan the Exiles, Conan Exiles, yeah, uh, is a very, um, very in-depth survival game. Uh, you start out with nothing and you have to build up a, a life for yourself and eventually pretty much an empire. You can build up your own empire. <coughs> Um, you can build stone buildings and then upgrade that into iron and steel reinforcement. I've got Gwynlyn with me today. Hello, how are you doing, Gwyn? <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to begin by making a new character. Um, so I'm going to edit this character and uh, we'll show you how to construct your own building and stuff. As you can see, you can also dismantle, dismantle stuff. I want to have fun. I want to have fun dismantling as well. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm also wondering if you dismantle the foundation. Oh wow, it'll all come crumbling. Awesome. That is cool. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this character and edit it. Yes. Yes, I did. Alright, so you'll start out as an exile. Um, crucified and stuff. Pretty much left to die. And they have a lot of options for you. You'll pick your race, which has, which will have, you know, different... They'll have different strengths and weaknesses, each race. Um, religion voice, head options, face details, body features, um, which mainly is just stuff to do with the height, with the body features, and how toned you are. Alright, so when you're going to finalize your character, remember to name the character by editing, pressing square, and on that note, it'll, it'll actually come up with the name. On my first character, I completely blew past this part, and so I have a character named Chitoryu, just like my PSN name. <laughs> let's see, what should I name this guy, Richard? Um, let's see. confirm with X. Alright, so to craft, um, you just open up your options, your character options, and then you first start out crafting just small primitive items like stone picks, stone hatchets, and also some uh, clothes made out of plant fibers. So we'll craft a set of clothing. And these are going to be pretty nice, pretty nice quality, considering they're uh, made out of plant fibers. And that guy's pissed off that he sees me. It's like, what are you doing in your underpants, yo? So to equip these, or wait, yes, they equip automatically, that's right. So I should be getting dressed before your eyes. <coughs> ah yes, just by, just by journeying and making achievements, you also level up. Ah yes, you said you had a weapon for me? Oh wow, your little roofless house is beautiful. Hmm. Alright. Now I've got a 
dedicated weapon. Oops. There we go. Alright. Alright, so let's go bash in something's head. thralls kept. Oh, I see. Alright, so, um, when you get your thrall out of the, um, the Wheel of Pain, you put him on your quick wheel, mm -hmm, and then just place him any old wear out in front of you, and then you can either have him follow you or move and guard somewhere else. <laughs> okay. When the thrall has a certain job, um, they have to be uh, placed at that certain area. So, yeah, Gwynlin uh, got herself a smelter, which is for the furnace. All right, good job, good job. Alright, so the sealed water skins, those are your canteens for storing water. And you put that on our quick wheel. And you'll notice the durability bar, that's how full it is with water. Once that runs out, you can go back to a river or a well and fill it back with water. Okay, and which I need some water. Uh, gone off my quick wheel, there we go. Maybe in your backyard. Yeah, animal kennels, backyard. Pretty nice place. Alright. And then there's meat. You can also... Uh, meat's good to put on your quick wheel, too. Especially if you've got to eat and run, like if you're being chased by something. Okay. <coughs> So anyways, but yeah, when you first start out, you'll need to collect some stone and sticks to make an axe, a stone axe. It just takes a few stones and stuff that you find along the shore and in the wooded areas. Uh, branches. And that will be right near handmade area. Stone pick, stone hatchet. Alright, so now we're going to go into building. Uh, this is Gwen's house right here. Um, she's got an interesting little balcony view thing there. <coughs> Looks like a golem or something ate the side of her house. Alrighty. <laughs> So I'm going to start a little cliff edge shelter. As you can see, I have, I have the foundation kind of floating off the edge of the cliff right here. Okay, and to do this, all you have to do is just float the foundation over to where you want it on the cliff's edge. Um, <coughs> and it'll show you, it'll turn red if, if it can't be placed. All right. So, we go to our feats again, and when it gets these three dots here at the bottom, that means you, you can uh, go ahead and research it. So now I can have a sandstone foundation, <coughs> and all kinds of other sandstone items. Walls, frames, uh, wedges, wedge foundations. Oh, 
Which bag? Ah, thanks. Now I can tie people up. Excellent. Alright, so we go over here and start crafting our sandstone foundations. Um, right after we get our materials. For sandstone items, you need uh, stone and wood. I'll need to learn that so that I can build more wooden boxes. Mm. Ah, yes, and you press R1 to go into some um, more detailed area of the um, craftables. We can, like, get some sandstone stairs. Sandstone. Sandstone. There we go. And the items that you craft will automatically go onto your wheel. Let's see. So we can like get stuff like going precariously off the edge there. more blocks. And it's night time. Um, we can make some torches. Uh, Gwen, do you have some torches you can put up here real quick? It is dark. It is very dark. <coughs> um, yes, I do, but I broke it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, well, you can make more torches by fiber. Yeah, fiber. Uh, plant fiber and uh, branches. So there we go. Just craft that. Stairs. Okay. There we go. <coughs> uh, now we can see what we're doing. Right, so that was all four foundations. view of Gwyn's house. Maybe one over there. Spider monkey. Okay. One more window frame. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. That one. Oh, yeah, you want to play close. 
close attention to where it says outer face so that you don't put it on the wrong way, of course. I want a window one right there. So now we've got all of our walls closed in. Ah, uh, thanks for the torch. Didn't light up the night. Okay. <coughs> all right. So now we'll s uh, we'll need roofs and a door. All right. So the roof needs plant fibers and branches. Which I got. Plant fibers. There we go. Alright. Let's see. So with this square house, it's easy just to um, make the sloped roof corners. Which will need four of them. Hmm? Oh yeah, those big things. It's it's hard to place because there's yeah they get so close up. It is. It is. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we'll put our. Roof on the quick wheel and jump off the house. Okay, so each roof corner takes a one square. Just gotta be careful of the placement of it. Yeah. It's tricky to also build it and try to move around it. You'll fail to place the building. All you gotta do sometimes is just leave it a bit and then reset it. And it works most times. <coughs> Try it from the inside. Nope. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. Let's see. Let me try just waiting a bit. Maybe crafting a few chests or something. fiber bedroll. Um, bedrolls and beds are where you spawn, your spawn point. Let's try this again. Let's see. Ah, there we go. All right. Thought I was gonna just have one big triangular hole in my roof for a while. <coughs> All right. So we just place a door here. Um, let's see, wooden twine. Ah, but we also already have a door in the box. And there we go. And there's
there's our nice little cottage perched on the hill on a cliff. It looks like that piece is hovering. You can also, uh, to make it a little more smoother right here, you can add more foundation on the way down as well so that it'll look, you know, a little more like it's going with physics. <coughs> Alrighty. So once you have your house, you can place your bedroll and your chests and all your stuff inside. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. out. Ah, I see you. Yes, and your enormous animal pin. <laughs> Do what? Oh, yes. Uh, once you have the correct food source for your animal, it'll start to go in your crafting queue on in the in the kennel. Let's see what you got cooking here. Oh wow, you've got a lot of pets. Um, now with the plant fiber, um, your turtle or your shellback, uh, that that's what it'll eat. Your crocodiles will need either putrid meat, fresh meat, uh, or feral flesh. Just like your hyena will need uh, some kind of meat, uh, feral flesh, or putrid meat, something like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. There you go. Oh, they all want that putrid meat. <laughs> Oh, and once your animal finished, you'll be able to see them in these stalls. Like, you can keep them in the stall as well to create dung for fertilizer for gardens. And see, as you can see now, the meat and stuff are hanging by hooks. <coughs> my little house just dangling right there. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I, I think I put a foundation more than I did the last time. <laughs> Alright, so when you first start the game, you'll want to... Um, find a sustainable water source such as the river, um, food, like through hunting, and also um, my personal favorite when you're a lobby is stealing shellback eggs. Um, is there some shellback nests around here, honey? Ah, uh, yes. Let's go uh, rob us some, uh, some eggs. <laughs> Alright, we're nearing the shellback eggs. Now they usually nest by the shore. You hit triangle to sneak. And we'll see if we can snatch some good eggs. Now you can also eat their hatchlings as well, which is crazy. There we go. So we'll snatch some eggs in the <laughs> as, as I'm sure you can assume, they'll get very angry if they see us snatching their eggs. to the shoreline. Right. 
Ooh, it's those weird freaks. Alright, so you press R3 to target. snatch this without uh, sneaking <clears throat> and you'll see how just how pissed off they become oh, this one's sleeping peacefully isn't it wake up this one is not waking up so usually they totally wake up Just snatch all your eggs homie oh boy now it's gonna wake up <laughs> yep. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, it's really pissed off. <laughs> Man, that was weird. He was like sleeping all peacefully and stuff. <clears throat> or I guess she. Mmm. <clears throat> Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe for some more of the series. Thank you for watching.